Of all the branches in the United States military, there is only one uniform that incorporates the red, white, and blue of the American flag. That uniform is worn by the United States Marines. The uniform of the United States Marine not only stands for excellence in the line of defense and on the field of battle, but for its over 200 years of history. Since the 19th century, the dress blues worn by the United States Marine Corps officers have remained largely unchanged. It is ever present, just as those who serve in the Corps are ever vigilant, and is a symbol of the unwavering dedication to the country and the ideas those individuals protect. Only the highest caliber person can don any Marine uniform, be it dress blues, service greens, or the utility uniform worn by those on the field of battle. Join us in our continuing study of the history of the United States Marine Corps. When the United States finally entered World War I in 1918, the Marine Corps found it necessary and beneficial to allow women to enlist in the Marine Corps Reserve for clerical duties. On August 13, 1918, Ofa Mae Johnson became the first of over 300 women to enlist in the Marine Corps Reserve that year. Johnson and the hundreds of other women were trained and took over for battle-ready Marines who were needed overseas. The Battle of Belleau Wood was for the U.S. the biggest battle since Appomattox and the most considerable engagement American troops had ever had with a foreign enemy. On the 1st of June, 1918, the French towns of Chateau Thierry and Vaux were overtaken by the invading German troops. They then set their sights on Belleau Wood. The U.S. Army's 2nd Division, which included a brigade of U.S. Marines, along with the 1st and 2nd Battalion, 5th Marines, were able to successfully halt the advancing Germans. German forces weren't so easily turned away, however, for the Huns dug in their heels and a battle raged in Belleau Wood. When the 3rd Battalion, 5th Marines, attacked on June 6th, Gunnery Sergeant Dan Daly, as legend has it, shouted to his men as they attacked the Germans. Come on, you sons of bitches! Do you want to live forever? The first wave of troops from the 3rd were slaughtered. However, tenacious fighting from the 5th and 6th Marine Corps were able to drive back the Germans, at times only fighting with bayonets or even bare hands. United States forces suffered a loss of over 1,800 men, but successfully drove the Germans out on June 26, 1918. The Germans were astonished by the gung-ho Marines. Legend and Marine Corps recruiting posters at the time reported that this battle earned the Marines a nickname from the Germans, Teufelhunden. Translation? Devil Dogs. Whether or not this nickname was really used by the enemy, the German soldiers who witnessed the Marine fighting all agreed that they were a force to be reckoned with and of stormtrooper caliber. <laughs>